Sponsored by Kangook. All right, I'm making my way to the compound, making my way downtown to the compound. I've been looking forward to flying from here for a long time. So when I had approached the compound, I found this flag in the field, and I figured it would be pretty good, pretty good wind indicator. And I saw there was a placard on there, and I read it, and it was for this guy named Chris, who unfortunately had passed away while flying at the compound. Straps. Yep. I think we's ready for the compound. No music while I'm flying today because I'm in a new area. I want to be able to listen to my motor extra carefully just in case I'm having any issues. Tall grass, I gotta be careful of any hang-ups here. My wing feels like it's coming up weird. I gotta go oh, forward. Obviously, where some people were riding four wheelers. It's kind of cool that you could take your four wheeler or your paramotor or whatever it is that you want to ride. Come to the compound, have some fun. It looks like, I don't know the rules and regulations here to be honest. These roads here are, I believe this was supposed to become a, some sort of a little home development area. By the way, if you pop up over the side streets, it's a good idea because there are cars driving out there. Went for a big turn and instantly, right there I noticed something was in my way. Can you see it? An RC plane. So I actually I went a little farther to the north and that was very far away from the RC fellas. And here is all of the compounds. So there were these roads right here start and all the way to the south, which is where I'm panning. You can see that big green spot right there is primo for flying. So this is the compound. Here in uh, Palm Bay, I believe, Palm Bay, Florida. I've always heard the stories of how awesome this place is. It's pretty cool. It's neat to see all the streets and all the available options. But there seems to be a pretty active RC pilot community over there, so I'm trying to not disturb the pilots. I think one of them was trying to see me up close and brought his plane near me when I was trying my first wing over. Kind of freaks me out a little bit. Didn't want to hit his plane or anything like that. I'm going to show you a little tip on this place in case you ever want to. So if you take here. the road to the compound and you make the left where the GPS suggests, you're going to be following this road. I followed it all the way up and around to where I parked, but if you take a right right there, you're going to be in a much better spot to fly. Also, I removed these hard toggles. Um, after trying them without, I actually did like them. I got treated to some clouds, they rolled in. It's kind of chilly up there, but man, isn't that pretty? not just me, I bet other people get a little intimidated flying up to these fat little clouds in the sky sometimes. Got some alternating colors on the Kangoo. So I lost some altitude, came back down, and I was coming back to land because I was starting to run a little low on fuel. 
check my wing, my wind socks. Did another pass over the canal. You see where people ride their four wheelers along there. And I decided that the grass that I had taken off from was kind of crummy, so I was going to land down there, which is much farther away from my van than I thought it was. But it was totally worth it. Yeah, this is way nicer. Over and I here. walked back, and uh, yeah, the compound was a great place to fly, and I hope there's some future fly-ins I can attend there because it seems like it's made for paramotoring. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. It was a ton of fun.